is a big forecast, Sean, because people are going on vacation, some of them, not, not us. Not yet, not <laughs> us, no. Okay, all right. On that note, let's go ahead and look outside. A beautiful day. Marine layer at the lower levels. Look at the top of the, of the screen, though. Uh, debris, remnant clouds from a little thunderstorm that was trying to build over Ventura County, inland Ver Ventura County. Uh, now it's rapidly falling apart. There was even a, a flood advisory, possibly, kicking into gear just a couple hours ago. Now it's backed off, and for the most part, we're just going to focus now the lower levels of the atmosphere where we have our mostly cloudy conditions here and there with, uh, of course, the marine layer again sort of lurking all day. Your temperatures today took a hit in some areas actually back into the 70s. Uh, only a couple of 80s, although past Robles, you went the other way and warmed a few degrees from where you were on Saturday. Right now, 50s along the central coast, closer to the low 60s along the south coast and down toward Ventura County. Inland area is still really nice and mild 70s, even a few warm 80s. Wind is fairly uh, inconsequential right now, uh, mainly onshore out of the northwest for the most part. We don't foresee any wind issues uh, through the night hours and of course ample humidity to play with, which means the marine layer is definitely entrenched. And uh, boy, this year, um, every year has its own little flavor. This year, we've got a very cold ocean, a steady onshore flow. And what we have, uh, it's hard to explain maybe real quick, a thermal inversion. Basically, the temperatures as you go up, you expect to sort of cool off. Well, there's a little bit of a, a turn in inversion. It starts to warm just a, maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000 feet off the, uh, the surface. And that acts like basically a lid on top of everything under it. So we have this strong inversion, cold ocean, steady onshore flow. You end up getting lots of fog. And of course, this map also really screaming with an early season monsoon flow. Uh, that can be sometimes a wild card, which can disrupt the marine there. It doesn't appear to be doing that now. So we'll go ahead and show you that with the monsoon. Of course, uh, this time of year, uh, rain season for southeastern California, uh, as well as Arizona portions. So this is what they expect and they kind of get. Don't really foresee anything happening right now with the monsoon the next couple of days. Although you can see every so often something does pop up in the afternoons of both Monday, maybe Tuesday. And of course, at the lower levels, you can see all this white right here. That's your marine layer. We'll go ahead and stop it for tomorrow morning. Reduce visibilities here and there. So we'll have to watch out for that by your drive times, maybe school times. Um, look at that. We go back into better visibility, but still a lot of marine there and even still reduced in many areas. So uh, drizzle is possible with the thick marine there and also it will likely be a little spotty, if at all, clearing for some of our beaches over the next couple of days. There's the high temperatures tomorrow. And boy, look at the contrast. Coastal areas really on the mild, even cool side. Inland areas, uh, nice, but not overly warm. In fact, they actually cool off quite a bit in that forecast. And I'll show you why in just a moment. At the same time, though, we might actually get better sunshine, a kind of an interesting little dynamic setting up in the seven day. There's your 60s and 70s tomorrow for the south coast as we head up into northwestern uh, portions of uh, Santa Barbara County. Same story there, inland areas, Cuyama at 88. Go up toward Paso Robles, you'll be nice and warm, a little cooler than today, but still really nice at 81 degrees. 66 for Napomo, down to Ventura County, inland areas, really comfortable at 78 for Ojai, 73 for Santa Paula, and then a little cooler out by the beaches in the mid 60s. Surf is still holding. We have some southwest swell and some northwest wind swell kind of mixed in. And there it is. Heavy fog through Wednesday. A front will push in cooler air at the upper levels. That helps to eliminate one of the three parts of your heavy marine layer, which is a thermal inversion, which means we will likely get quicker clearing. However, look at the temperatures. They don't change a whole lot over the next several days, but better, more ample sunshine is expected as we head toward at least the beginning of Memorial Weekend. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.